All right, in the last video, we created our terrain, we established its resolution, made it a lot smaller so that we can work with it. Uh, we got it named inside our project view and inside our hierarchy view. We got it all cleaned up inside of a folder structure. But one thing we didn't do was save our scene. And saving your scene is critical. If you come to this from any application, I don't care if it's uh, something like you know Microsoft Word all the way to Maya or 3ds Max or Photoshop, you know the importance of saving. Even on some uh, applications that have an autosave feature, you can still lose work if you're not careful about your saving habits. But yeah. I wanted to break this out into its own video. I was going to say, especially once you start getting into scripting. Oh, yeah. Well, saving when you're scripting is it's just absolutely key, and you can really do some damage if you overlook it. But I wanted to pull this into its own video because I want you to remember organization and remember to keep your project looking nice and clean the whole time. So what we're going to do is come under the file menu in the upper left-hand corner of your screen and choose save scene. And we get our snow level project into the assets folder by default, which is fine. And we're just going to drop in our level, which we'll call this level underscore one. And you can think of scenes as levels and levels as scenes, but because we're kind of building this in a game-like sense, I like the idea of, you know, oh, it's a game. Well, this is level one for our game. So we'll call this level one snow world. Now, I don't want you to be under the assumption that I'm going to be creating a level two in these videos, but when we get done, if you wanted to create another level uh, on your own, at least you'll already have the naming system set up. Right. There's something else to remember. Naming systems and organization ends up being a matter of personal preference. The way we name things in these videos may not be the way that you want to do it. Figure out a system that works for you, but stick with it. Absolutely. There is no right or wrong naming system. Don't think that just because I named this level underscore one underscore snow world uh, with capitalized camel casing, that that's the way you should always name your stuff. Name it however you want. You can name this level uh, baseball and popcorn if that makes you feel good, as long as that makes sense to you. But whatever you use for your naming scheme, stick to it so that it makes sense to you later, so that if you bring other people on board, they can get used to that scheme, and it all makes sense all the way through. Don't change systems later on. Like, don't make your next uh, level, like, level three underscore, you know, actually, try to stick to the same system all the way throughout. So we'll go ahead and just click, uh, press enter, which will save our scene, and something interesting just happened. You'll notice in our project view, here in the middle of the screen, we have our level one snow world. This level that we just saved, this scene, is its own Unity object, and it's in our project. And I, again, I want to stress keeping things nicely organized. So what we're going to do is create in the project folder, click a little Create dropdown, come back to Folder. Now this is where I'm going to diverge a little bit, but the only reason I'm diverging is to really drive home the correlation that scenes are like levels in your game. So here, this folder is actually going to be called Scenes, even though the name of the scene is Level 1. But I promise I'm not trying to, con to confuse you in any way. So we'll just drag level one snow world into our scenes folder. And now if we expand this, we can see all of the different levels. In Unity, they're referred to as scenes. Again, though, it's just because I'm building a game, I like to conceive of them as levels. And I want you to have that correlation in your head at all times. So if anybody says, you know, well, I'm doing some level design inside of Unity, you say, yeah, they're working on a particular scene. Or, hey, can you load in this level? You know that that means to go under File and choose Open Scene because you're not actually going to see the word level in here. But it is a common word, and a lot of people use it. Right. And your scene's not necessarily always going to be a full level. No. With your game, you can actually get to a point where if you've got a um, your opening screen could be its own scene. Mm -hmm. If you've got a um, options menu or um, configuration screen, these can all be done in their own scenes. Exactly. So I, I don't want you to think that every scene you create has to be a game level. That's actually why they don't use the word level inside of Unity, because a scene can really mean a lot of things. What we are creating here is a game level which is why we've given it the designation level. Anyway, so that takes care of that. We've saved our work. It is now inside of the scenes folder in our project. And that's really all I wanted to show here, which is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.